How's it, guys? Um, yeah, it's great to be in, in Chile and to be running in the Torres del Paine National Park. And some of the most beautiful trails I've ever run in, in my life. And um, yeah, the last week has been a, a mind blowing experience. Um, like visiting the glaciers, um, running up the base of the, the Torres del Paine, and just experiencing Chile. Um, it's a wonderful full country, and I definitely plan on, on coming back here sooner than later. Um, yeah, for me, um, the the race today went went according to to plan. Um, I got a little bit of a, a lead, and then I could just kind of um, hang on to that and have to push too hard, and I could back off a little bit uh, at the end. Or when I say back off, my legs are a bit tired. Um, yeah, I, I messed up my nutrition a little bit towards the end, so I wasn't feeling great. But yeah, all in all, um, just kind of rounded off a really great. Um, trip to to chile yeah, yeah so, sorry i i'm came with a with an with a question you were running with billy like for a long time yes like maybe 50 no 40k i think about Ooh. 30 30k yeah so you were kind of talking or like everyone was doing his thing um yeah when i was running with with billy um we weren't really talking too much um we weren't running like next to each other so, that much someone's like it was kind of like yeah like come and go front or yeah, yeah. you'd be yeah. ahead um so yeah, there wasn't wasn't too much in interaction going on, um, but yeah, it was fun. It was always good to have some company out there. You didn't um, know the guy, at all. No, not 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 really. I'm um, obviously um, read about him and born to run and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. But but apart from that, I didn't really know him. Um, so yeah, I chatted to him a bit. Looks like a, a really cool guy. Um, so it was yeah, really great to to get to to run with him a bit. Um, yeah, obviously I was lucky enough to to run with uh, Michael True, Cabala Blanca, uh, also yeah. Scott Jurek and, yeah. and a couple of other guys. So yeah, kind of ticking off, off uh, running with the guys that are in, in, in the Born to Run book. Um, yeah, it's great to run with someone like him. And um, yeah, for, for me, um, coming up in, in, in the future, I've got my documentary, Wandering Fever, that's finally going to be uh, released early ne next year. So many finally. Yeah, yeah, finally. For all the fans that are hoping. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's taken a while, but um, yeah. Um, it would be worth it, I think. Yeah, yeah. Dean, Dean and Greg, the guys yeah. producing it, say it's going to be worth the wait. I've seen bits of it. It's, it's Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. So yeah, submitting to a few film festivals at the moment, so it'll probably be released early next year. Um, and also, yeah, um, other projects coming up. Uh, I'm looking to do uh, a record um, attempt on the Grand Drakensberg Traverse, which is the biggest mountain range in South Africa, the Drakensberg uh, Mountain Range. It's a 230-kilometer wow. traverse um, of the, the mountains there. I'm doing it with another guy called Rainer Crystal, another Salomon athlete in South Africa. Ah, really? Is, there are more Salomon athletes in South Africa? Yeah, no, we've got a couple. We've obviously got a local team as well. Um, up there, three guys, three girls, and also some ambassadors oh, and stuff. Cool. So, um, yeah, like I think trail running in South Africa. Since I've started trail running, it's it's really exploded, and I think it's exploded yeah. internationally. Yeah. Even seeing it today, like I think it's really exciting times ahead for for trail running. But um, yeah, going back to the the Grand Drakensberg Traverse, obviously going to be uh, wrecking some of the route in the upcoming uh, um, months because um, it's you've got to do it self-supported. That's the the yeah. kind of the rule of, of yeah. the attempt and also um, that there are no clear trails it's just kind of running in these mountains it's like rough cool. terrain like technical like yeah. super steep yeah it's super steep um, but also just like a lot of it's just kind of uh, really rough terrain no paths so you're just kind of going through thick grass and up kind and, of rough and you got like elevation like I mean it's yeah it's, it's about um, it's about 8,000 to no 9,000 meters over 9,500 meters sorry, mm -hmm. over, over the 230 kilometers which isn't that, it's a lot, but not that much yeah. um, compared to some, like, 100 black like, UTMBs got, got yeah. that for 100 miles. But the terrain's a lot, lot more rugged and, and much more, more rough. And obviously, you, you're not following trails, so um, anything can, can happen. Yeah. Like, the current record's 60 hours. So, um, yeah, 60 so, hours, Yeah, wow. so it's quite slow going. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would like to think we could take a bit of time off the record, but anything can happen out there. Um, the weather is very unpredictable, um, so it's, I'm really excited about that. That's yeah. one of the things I love about trail running is the adventure. It's the same reason why I wanted to come to come here. It's 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 all about the, the adventure. Obviously, I enjoy running races, but um, at, at the same time, for me, one of the most appealing things about trail running is just going out there and, and experiencing life and, and having an adventure and making the most of it. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that that project coming up and. Yeah, I definitely want to go back to talking about race, go back to, to Western States next year. Unfortunately, really? Yeah. yeah. 
uh, we'll know what my, happens. Yeah, 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 best, yeah, yeah, yeah. best of my ankle, put that behind me now. So yeah, really yeah. excited to, to go back there next year. I'll probably be even more hungry. So yeah, yeah so can we can say that that could be like your focus race for the next season? Yeah, definitely. First half of the year, definitely West Western States. I think yeah. if, the, if there's one race I'd love to win, it would be Western States. Yeah, so and you were pretty, pretty close in last year, so yeah. So um, yeah, it would be cool to to go go one place better. Um, yeah, otherwise, um, yeah, I've still got to make some, some final plans for, for, for next year. Um, but this year, I'll probably be going either to run the San Fran 50 miler, maybe in December, or maybe the North Face um, Hong Kong 100k in December. So, yeah, um, yeah a couple of um, yeah, interesting races coming up. So, yeah, exciting times ahead. But, um, yeah, again, it's been really awesome to, to spend um, a week in, in, in Patagonia, and I'm actually sp staying a on for a couple more days um, yeah I, I love Chile I was at uh, in the Atacama Desert in, in 2010 yeah and yeah. Um, yeah I really you have really, the record huh? yeah, yeah I think I think I still got it yeah <laughs> never know these days records yeah. seem to be broken yeah. the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah um yeah it's yeah a, a great country and yeah definitely as I say um, yeah thanks to all you guys for for your support um, I really enjoyed the race today like having such awesome support a, along the way it, it makes it, it racing that much more fun and exciting and something to look forward to. And um, yeah, I'll definitely be back in Chile sooner than later. So thanks again for all your support, guys.